I think often after a disaster that people look around at the levels of destruction and it certainly looks impossible, but societies do recover. And I, I think the question is how can it be done more quickly and more efficiently? So, um, you know, we, we looked at a length of time for recovery and um, say Hurricane Sandy in New York, New York, you know, tremendous um, capacity for recovery. They were able to do a lot of that work in seven to 10 years and spend out um, um, a lot of the, the the recovery funds during that that time, um, in um, in Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina, that process instead, when, when you look at the data of, of, of construction projects and and when funding was spent, was more like fifteen to twenty years, and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands a little bit behind that. So these are these are long processes. Um, so they do show that it's possible um, because they're they are finite, but but that's a long time. That's a really long time to to live in a place that takes you know, many, many, many years to um, um, to recover. I, I think there are sometimes opportunities though to make it better. I, in the Virgin Islands, one thing that was interesting was that um, many of their school buildings had been destroyed, but the school buildings were often, uh, you know, built in the 1950s or so, and they 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 weren't up to hurricane standards, and they, they weren't uh, in line with modern pedagogical standards. The school buildings were not designed to be um, um, in a way that supports more modern methods of, you know, managing education. So the, the school system in the Virgin Islands, instead of rebuilding right away, what they did was they put a pause on it and they worked with the American Association of Architecture to come up with their own set of school standards before starting the rebuilding process. And the school standards were meant to be, you know, hurricane resistant, you know, recognizing that you want the building to last, but also that in a hurricane, uh, people will often use um, schools as community centers where they'll take shelter. So it means they need to be pretty special in terms of being able to resist hurricanes and have, you know, manage energy, et cetera. Uh, but then at the same time, reorganize the, the, the structure and the use of space so that it's it's better supportive of educational purposes. So I think that sometimes, you know, I, I guess this is also going back to the idea of possible versus impossible. Uh, there can be better things that come out of it, but it's 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 pretty, pretty I, I think, stressful and frustrating to, to be living through that process while you're while you're waiting for it to finish.